Okay, here's the Maple Ridge Park. There's the South Alouette River. And because of the flooding, there's a caution ribbon up barrier. It's nice to see how people follow uh, the signs and advice for safety. The water is washing right up to where his feet are at 40, 50 miles an hour. This whole area is flooded. All the, where the trees are, look, it's a river flowing through there. There's the parking lot. Not good for these, uh, these trees. Anyway, uh, there's a river flowing through uh, the normally grassy park. <laughs> and over there it's come up with the rivers above the shore. And there you can see there's a park bench that's up to the seat in water. And there's the river. parking lot here yesterday was flooded. You can still see there's some water left. There's a picnic table. We've had picnics here. It's flooded with water. There's a bench there. The river houses across the river, but I believe they're evacuated. So I've had some of my lectures out 15 feet into the river here because it's been a dry bank. Oh, there's waves lapping up the shore here. I don't know if that tree is going to make it. Where did it go down? It's leaning uh, 60 degrees. That's about the limit on the lean. And uh, look at this park bench right there behind a tree but it's underwater. <laughs> oh baby. This was all water yesterday. Oh okay. Oh I'm getting wet. Oh, it's amazing how there's waves coming off of this. Anyway, there's uh, that's where he used to sit. There's another one over there, underwater. Another park bench, two park benches on the South Alouette River. All these trees in danger are coming down because they are getting waterlogged by the flood. Flood of this millennium. There's a park bench over there. Picnic table is all underwater. With the waves lapping up at my feet. Let's go see the ferocity of the river.
Maple Ridge Park in Maple Ridge, British Columbia. Underwater. There's a house over there. All these houses, I believe, are evacuated because of the flood. It's probably flooded in at least the first floor there. It looks lower than the river here. I think we're going to lose that tree there. Pretty big one. Probably uh, started growing around 1920 when this whole area was clear cut. Looks about that big. Six feet across at the trunk. Might even be leaning more since when I first got here. Probably going down. Better move. Not good when the roots get worn away like that by the water. Oh, this tree's dead anyway. Just noticed. So this is what we call a pecker wood. It's a dead tree that the woodpeckers will make a nice home out of. And it's leaning a little bit into the river, but obviously its roots are exposed. There's some exposed roots. So maybe it'll last a while and the woodpeckers can make it their home. Let's see how the uh, side of the bank of the river is eroded here. This is fresh erosion from the flooding and uh, the water would have covered this whole area yesterday as you can see some of it's been left behind here puddle of water and over here is where we used to swim every summer would be way out in the middle and we used to tube. Well, I guess we still can tube, but uh, it was very slow meandering river which is now class probably three, two and a half, three rapids. At least at this point. Okay, again, Maple Ridge Park. This whole park here is flooded. And closed with caution tape. And you can see there's water flowing through it, a river flowing through it. Actually looks like it's uh, draining at this point in time but all these tree trunks and roots are submerged and uh, pretty reflections and there's 224th 
Bridge. I'm sorry, 242nd Bridge. And there's the South Alouette River over there. So a veritable swamp or lake, pond, created by the flooding. Don't need that fire hydrant today. Kind of pretty and this flood the flood does have some beauty it is nature obviously and the nice western red cedars there and there's some cottonwood trees so, hopefully they survive. There's a spruce, a couple spruce. Douglas fir, Douglas fir. And I'm under a Douglas fir. Okay. All right. Let's go check out something else. This is enough of this beautiful flood situation with the artistic floodwaters, the ripple effect on the artwork. Very lovely. Yeah, it's definitely draining. So that's a good sign until the next atmospheric river comes through Starting in two days, will be the fourth in a series in a month caused uh, the flooding of the millennium or this millennium. But again, as I explained in other videos, definitely not the worst we've had and we've had many others even before they designated global warming and climate change. But it's definitely uh, warmer. It's December and it's almost uh, jacket season. <laughs> okay, so I hope uh, you enjoyed this beautiful artwork done by nature. And the so-called atmospheric river comes from uh, across the Pacific Ocean often from around Hawaii included and hits us. Okay, Dr. Gary Ordog from Maple Ridge Park in Maple Ridge, British Columbia, Canada, over and out. Okay, this is a little uh, beach. There used to be a beach here that we Used to come and have a picnic and swim every summer. Uh, it's all flooded right now. So halfway across, there used to be rocks you could go across. And uh, you would not get swept away. The water was not like this. And there was uh, maybe a tenth of the water in this river during the summertime. Uh, anyway, this is interesting how there's a backwash into this little bay here. Water's flowing backwards. So normally it goes from east to west, which is what it's doing out there, but because of the flood situation, it made a little whirlpool right here. It's actually flowing in a 
clockwise rotation around this little bay which is backwards it's flowing from west to east instead of east to west okay it's all flooded over on the other bank too I can't tell how far it goes in but obviously uh, it looks fairly flat it must go fairways and then there's houses beyond that which I believe have been evacuated so here's the uh, Maple Ridge Park closed down due to flooding but there's kids coming to play <clears throat> you don't want to fall in this you would not be found Somebody in Japan may find you after you sailed across the ocean. There's the park benches underwater over there. Area closed off. Pretty wild, pretty wild. Okay, Maple Ridge Park, Maple Ridge, British Columbia, Canada. Over and out.